Hey guys, Laura here, it's nice to have you back on the channel. I'll be sharing with you some practical data solutions and today's topic is for all of you out there that have suffered the loss of important files. So the question is, how do we recover lost data from SD cards? Let's roll! So, all stories are basically the same. You've chosen a glorious SD card. Well, I know it doesn't look glorious, but if you just zoom in a bit, yeah, got it? So, you've chosen this little thing to entrust with your most important files, your favorite movies, the collection of music, your work, and the photos you still collect to frame some... Yeah, someday. Back to the story. You take your SD card, unaware of the tragedy that's about to happen, you insert it in your computer and... Yep, these are sad times. And the next thing you know, the panic kicks in and the inevitable question is uttered. Why? <laughs> why me? I'll tell you why. You are most probably the reason. But can we blame ourselves? No, just look how tiny this thing is. I know, right? Tell you the truth, there's a lot that can cause data loss in SD cards. Let's go through it. Probably the most common reason is improper handling. My advice to you is to carry this tiny fragile piece of tech in a case when outside of the device and don't forget to be extra careful when inserting and removing it from a device. SD cards, like all other storage devices, develop bad sectors with age. But the most common reason for SD cards is actually removing the card in unsafe mode. My advice is to remove the SD card after you've switched off your device or just use the eject function. Your SD card might also get damaged if there's an error while formatting, so just make sure there aren't any interruptions and that the whole process is done correctly. Another common reason for data loss in SD cards is malware and virus attacks. And just to prevent those, you have to be extra careful what you're uploading on the SD card. Another common reason is file system damage. All storage devices, including SD cards, store information based on their respective file systems. If an error occurs, you should use the file system repair utilities to fix the issue. Another issue you may run into is a damaged card slot. This is not a problem of the SD card itself and you should just try inserting the SD card in another slot or just try another device. As there are many brands of SD cards on the market, poor quality and manufacturing defects are still a thing. Just make sure you do your research, you read the reviews and then decide which one to buy for yourself. But don't let that discourage you. I myself have recently lost a lot of video footage because of bad formatting decisions. And now that I have my handy dandy SD card here and I found a properly working slot, it's time to introduce you guys to recover it. A fitting name, I know. I also like to call it the Card Recovery Pro because it helps you recover the lost or accidentally deleted data from SD cards. Let me show you how it's done. First, launch recovered after you connect the SD card. Select the SD card and click start to scan it. Secondly, it will start all around scan on your SD card. You can pause or stop the scanning process if you find your data at any time. After scanning, it will show you all your lost data and you can find and select the target data. Click the recover button and it will be retrieved at once. It's that simple, you guys. If you ever lose your data again, just download Recover it from the link down below and give it a quick try. But before you go, I just wanted to remind you of some basic tips on how to better care for your SD card. First, always format the SD card on your device. This way, it will work effectively with the device's hardware. Also, avoid using the card in multiple devices. Second one, use one high-quality card reader. While most people will just connect their devices to the computer directly when transferring data, this method is not recommended. Third one, use the eject function when removing the SD card from your computer. Read your card occasionally. You better keep your SD card working often. 
As it is made of electronic components, it will get damp if you don't use it for a long time. And the last one is switch off the device before removing the cart. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. My name is Laura, and if you like more professional tips and recovery solutions, just hit the subscribe button under the video. See ya!